The two big ideas that are linked in Noether's theorem are symmetry and conservation laws. So let's first look at symmetry. Commonly, we think of something as symmetrical if you change something about it and it looks the same. So for example, humans are symmetrical because if you take our left side and mirror it, it looks mm -hmm. like our right side. And the same way like a flower that has six petals is symmetrical because you can rotate it in increments of 60 degrees and it'll right. still look the same. In physics, two systems are called symmetrical if you change something and they still act the same way. So for example, if you imagine you're in outer space and there's absolutely nothing around you, there's no planets, no stars, no friction, no wind, no external forces of any kind, and you throw a ball, it'll leave your hand at a certain direction and speed, and it'll just keep on traveling that way forever. It'll just keep on going because there's no other external forces acting on it, right? I see. Okay. So you can look at it one inch after it left your hand, and it'll be doing exactly the same thing one foot later, two feet later, a mile later, a thousand light years later. It'll still be going in the same direction at the same speed, no matter where you look at it along the trajectory. Okay. You can say that the ball is a system that has translational symmetry. That is, you can observe the ball in different places and all the forces acting on it will always be the same. 